What's going on YouTube? This is me and I'm thinking about myself. Um, I need to be do this um, to be Active Directory content at my YouTube channel. Actually, I love Active Directory. And then when I check my Active Directory content before and then before I upload it, so I show them they are not look like a cool actually. So I have to be do is my title is um it's actually my title is um will be cool. I giving it the which tool where I use and then uh, what animation did I use before. So in this video we are gonna be jumping as Active Directory with all course. After that all, I actually wanna be sh tell you I got on this to unhack the box and the wound lab I was so. So uh, the hack the box has thirty as a, is actually more thirty um, active directory boxes. Um, so so I think is this the hack the box is the best in the will pun completely we am on the internet. So completely believe that. So one of the boxes is on the hack the box. I decided to be doing all the active directory boxes, and then I was gonna be using here pickle wheel because. I want to be show you on my real fast actually so I think you will know about it so one of the challenges on the hack the box is which one is on to for e e easy to um to hear the insane difficulty I mean all of them on the retired machine they have the more than 30 um to machine of the active director so we were going to be um, learning too many things after that all I will jump boom nap they have the best active director boxes ever I think so if you're ready right now, we're gonna be starting fastly. So after we spin, I'm gonna be show you which um, Chi Chi I will gonna be use it. I generally use this OXDF Chi Chi actually. The, for example, OXDF really is a new Chi Chi, which, which one is SMB animation. I think he is the, he is the best and the content creator as ever. So uh, after that's all, I, I'm gonna be show you after this first taps, what will you can use for example, it's over here. As I find an ADIP is on transfer and the list goes access for SMB share, LDF, find user list. Is it the first thing we have to be do on this on our real machine? So let me spin this box and great. Okay, it's actually giving us a support here. So that means we need to be do here the support boxes. So which one is here? So let me try to go support boxes is which one here. So yes, it's okay. It's over here. So let me actually spam this machine. And uh, we're gonna be shown on the machine info. Support is an easy difficult to Windows machine that features SMB shares that allows anonymous authentication. After connecting the share and executable files discovered to use it query and the machine and LD app server available users. So this is really cool because we're gonna be using here SMB and LD app. So we can use SMB animation Chi Chi from our XDF and then getting some something like that. Or you can try to be looking for a guided mode is over here. So it will be um really cool for you, for example. So which one do you wanna be do? It doesn't matter, just do this and how you're gonna be do that. But I'm gonna be sure I'm gonna be I was to be tell you about it. I want to be showing my real fast, so I decided to be doing in the picker wheel. So we're gonna be um, the the high chest right now. So great. So I think I have to be up my Chi Chi again is over here, and um, we can use my SMB Chi Chi. So the first thing I think we can use your pink for if I'm gonna get a connection or access of these boxes, for example. So after that all, we can avail. Yeah, it is a, as a for sure we have to be do this to M map as for port scanning. So I generally use here dash sc as a for default script and dash sv for the number and dash pn to get result. So we need to be given here IP addresses. So let me actually zoom in for you one more time. Does someone as hype it for me? Therefore, the zoom in is right now. So we're gonna be trying here to be get it, but that after that it's till the ending. I'm gonna be showing you I generally use dash p8 if there's a using any HTTP, but HTTP is filtered is over here. We can use never about it. So let me check in for my 443 
and then you will see in here as HTTPS as filter it is also so that means we have it now in Terrace on the web server so which one is cool all right so great so there's nothing we can do so we just have to be looking for something different as uh, which one is under use it is actually showing us on this machine info so we're just going to be um, learning here SMB and LDF or something like that. So which one is really cool. That is that is great. So um, what we can do um, till ending here is MF scan. So let me go here SMB enumeration Chi Chi because we know as if there's a no any um, to to web server it could be um, SMB. So SMB server, so how we can do and um, to be excited is over here. So that is really good. Um, to the first thing I have to actually be thinking about it. So it's over here. Great. So before the we get here, the list user, um, done the most basic run of net exec will give a failed information about the host and then including host name, the domain, the operation we're seeing and the tails about SMB version inside it is enabled. So this is really cool, I think, because we're just going to be doing here net exact SMB and just give it here um, to IP addresses. Then it will be giving us here this domain name or the two many things about it. For example, you can learn so, um, like that. It's not exact. So we're going to be creating here, make your support, I think, because or box's name is support. So let me try to go support here. And then not exact, we're going to be used. Um, is not exact, um, not at my. Uh, if I'm going to say it's like that, for example, maybe I have to be upgraded it. All right, apt get install net exec. There is no, so it could be hard to be, and it need to be too. As and showing us how we can use net exec. Yes. Um, general general network enumeration and uh, formerly is crack map exec. So as not exact or correct map exact those are same i think we can use crack map exact so this is actually what we actually do is use it before so we don't know about it we can use it for smb on the um, crack map exact and smb so after that we have to be told them to we have to be user smb so we can give this and then maybe it will be giving her something about to be um and I knew about it. So it's Cramac exec is actually again is showed us is the same thing with net exec is over here. So I'm gonna be using here charity for my not and um, let me go here my charity and then uh, the I think we can give it here to, um, to be new username is over here and um, so let me say his one more and uh, I will say support and ad great so right now we know about it they're using the main name as, as a support that HTTP, and then they are using here a domain controller so it will be imported for us so the first thing we can go here nano or which one we're going to be used the nano and etc host and then just give it here to ip addresses like that so let me try to be go there again and uh, we know about it is right now after that crack map exact support that HTTP they are um to be um the host name so after that we know they are using it is also here is the main controller so we have to be new about it so we have to be over here DC um it it means it's the main controller that support that HTTP so first we knew about it and um so actually you can use it here as some client directly so if you want to be use it know about it or to be enumerate the files we need to be using to always use to be a, a, a smb client is for sure so this is another cool thing is assembly client at python for example for your and the smb clients results are more cool so anyway so it does matter so we're just had to gather here or IP, uh, I mean, so I'm a result. So we can copy that and um, give it here. 
So that will also is giving us to here domain name, which want to support that HTTP is over here. So I don't thinking about the rights because it's the, they are using here DC. Okay. So anything new, uh, we know here, um, I think it's not, but I think is, so which one is LD up is cool things because it will be important for us to be using for here, but there's right now. That's okay. So we can just try to go SMB client dash L just, I just want to be learning here actually to file name. So, you know, this is our IP addresses. So we can just give it here and it will just showing us the here list of the shares. So anything we can go here, for example, support tools, right? So we just have to be getting here. Just give the backslash, um, to more and then absolutely you have to be changing dash L because it means dash uh, L is that uh, list is but we're not, not list is we just gonna be accesses here and then you have to be added some two backslash so either so you will be accesses here and then if you check check it your ls then you will get here pretty that exe for example user info and um seven the portable to too many things we get actually on the SMB shares section. Um, you can see it's now about it. So it right now, we need to be do that to for getting all of things to here. But one of the challenges is over here. For example, watch like port table and user info exit zip. I don't know. Maybe it will be important for us. But as of right now, we we are not new about it. So what we can do, um. I'm just wonder what we can do is over here. So let me actually before to be get here um try to be get user.info exit.zip so we can say get user.info exit zip and um so we're gonna be show here is it on the same boxes? Yes. So with the right now we just have to be checking if unzip is working here. If there's a nut, um, is the zip file is uh, to be crackable, we can use your F crack, the zip um, is like that. So the first of all, let's check, can we access this? Yes. So there is no need it. So we got here user info.exe and some DLL file. So the first of all, we need to be do, um, we got here config file. So that's correct. So cat user info cura, uh, config file. So, um, does it actually look like interesting? Um, because it's giving our public key token here as over there, right? So can we try to be get it here? So this is really cool. So it will be important here to be get here public key token. I don't know. So we're just going to be looking for that. Um, is anything new here? Now we are just have here user info.exe. So let me say user info.exe file. So we know about it. It's user info p2 executable console Intel net assembly. So this is the most important things after after actually um to be gathered here. So for example, we need to be here PowerShell. So can we use it here, user info.exe? Yes, uh, because we just have to be used on user.exe file, just working on to PowerShell, as you know. So we need to be um, new about it. So you have to be new about it, exe file, just working on the PowerShell. So let me clear actually, but before the clear, um, can we say I'm just wonder, um, I'm gonna go here opt and uh, I'm thinking is wine prefix for DNS pi exe. So you if you wonder what is DNS pi exe, you can go uh, um, DNS pi exe file here so over here. DNS pi exe is like a ghedra or something like that or the either file for decompiling something. But we are generally using the file of to use the info exe and I will show here is net assembly. So when I gather here net assembly, I generally use DNS pi. So let me file here and open and go back here. 
Oh, sorry, we need to be go here. Write um, Elliot um, documents active directory support user info.exe file. So, yes, you can compile this file with dnspy.exe, but and this is the cool things to hear you need to be know about it is if it's net assembly, right? Great, so user info.exe right now we are. Um, actually use the info services so okay it's about things something like ld app hmm sma account name which one is cool for ld app um last password change base type so i'm just thinking about here can we get here something for some credential maybe we can gather here uh, i'm not sure uh, okay so it's actually giving us here um encrypted password so for example it's gonna be useful for us so may we okay 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 this is this is the way i think so because it's giving our encoded sci get bytes so <coughs> this is the way i think so let me give in case like that so they are using here to be um private starting strings encrypted password um with this encrypted password it and they have here encountering SCI to bytes is which one is Armando. So we need to be work with this, but um the first of all, so I think we need to be getting something get user info that um user info that exit file, right? So great. Actually we found what we needed to be um get a password here. Uh no. Encrypted password is the same. Yes. Great. These are to um none of it unuseful. I mean, so we will learn it how we can use DNS by exe. And actually, DNS by exe is giving us yes um uh, static string encrypted password, and this encrypted password is um to private static key. So this is really cool. So right now, um, let's check, um, can we use user info.exe file? So can we say, uh, no, oh, we have to be going with the PowerShell, right? So let me say user info.exe file. So the commands is finds and user to get information about the user here. So if I'm gonna say user here, to so forget all user, can we try like this? Nope. Um, should we say to the username not font mm. so user info dot exit if i'm gonna say find at least of the one of the first and last is required so the find first we have to be say right and uh, checking here for all user um no such object Maybe about quotation mark. Um, no such object yet. Again, it's because find the first to be user here. Hmm. So should we say here um user dash username um for example oh xdf we can say no great um find okay let me say last no such object here yet so i'm actually wonder what about the users of this is it maybe like that for verbose so is it about that maybe it could be 
All right, there is a uh, cool. So let's say first. Okay, um, there is no subject. So let's look like nothing we can do here. So we need to be new about it. Um, which one as has to be got here? So maybe this is the unuseful things. Maybe it's just um giving this for the get this encrypted password i don't know so we're gonna be new about it so let's try so actually we can ask the chat gpt for um to be cracking the this uh password but i will show you the two things how we can crack it it's actually not hard so you just have to be new something about python uh, we can do it. We can. I'm cutting Python actually, but um, there is no need it. Uh, we just have to be go with ChatGPT, and then just give it this um this code, right? So verify you're human. I'm human too. Um, can you uh? Give me Python call for decrypt it. Sure, here's a Python cut, so it's encrypted password, KS Airman does something like that. So, um ChatGPT I generally use it for decrypted something and then catch them. So let me say um nano and decrypt dot python. So we just have to be give it like that. So Python 3 um decrypted the python then yes okay it worked so it's actually it's giving us is the password so this is our password so right now we need it to be which user has this password this is the most important thing to say about it so we are now about it or password is equal to this so we can actually check in with this decrypted password so this is actually is over here is there something wrong um I know this is our password. So as of right now, we just need it. And then which one has this um, the password list? So we can try here. Yeah, you know, we can try here. Really cool things. Um, actually, not really cool things. Um, really basic things to hear. Like, um, the, the first of all, so let me check if his showing us now is not showing us this but i'm gonna be showing you let's crack map exact with usage like that crack map exact you need to be used is like read brute here so is it just just showing us is is there any credential do it's just the username so it will showing about it so let me give it this like that for anonymous so if there's any username that it will be giving us this is like here so if it's not we can try to be user here the real cool name to to be the full name like smb ld app or john or something like that but it's already is crack map exa is giving us the here c s i d type user for example yeah, we got here the user. This is really cool. I really like it. Great. So we have to be uh, interesting is over here as an SID type user, as a, which one is cool and which one is really important. So this crack map exact will giving you as um, the the username list of this password. So you just have to be. Um, Yes, you just have to be actually um, looking for this one. So let me check and go. Um, can you just give me user list? Um, without support um it doesn't matter actually but i don't like it with support um 
great. So let me copy that. And um, so we already has gathered here to use a list. And then now, now use us, we can say, and then give it them. So it's right now. We have a user list and we have the password. So what we can do, we can do is just go here, chi chi again, and then how it's using is the user list and it would crack map exits for sure. Definitely I know how it's gonna be. I just wanna be show sure now you know about it here. Um it's like that. Yes, we have to be using it. Um that's just gonna be just uh just thinking about it is gonna be for crack map exec. We have to be just starting with this crack map exec smb and then you need to be giving here your um domain name for example or a support at http dash u you have to be giving your user list and then which one is user is over here and dash password and to be sure new about it in, in the single quotation mark and then just go here does or password that is kind of different password so after that all you can try if it's content, it's gonna be work. If it's not, it's not. So it's just trying. He done, yes, okay, it works. So we got here on the or username is LD app and our password is this. So it's no needed to be, um, maybe you can use here, continue uh, on success. So, it's actually trying if there's any credential with another user for example is the same password can can could be using the for the different users is over here um i'm not sure it's gonna be working like that but which i can just try status login fire so something like that so right now we can uh, exit from powershell and then looking for um to be our new uh credential is over here so our credential is LD app. So I think this is not giving us any <coughs> user.txt or something like that. But we are just um, thinking about it. Great. So um, right now, can we just thinking about it? Um, looking for, yeah, there is no credential with this password. So it means we are on the correct one. So, um, can we say SMB client, um, dash L, if there are any different shares here? I don't think so, but just try. Um, this paste things. Oh, there is no um, any more shares for us, I think. So this is really cool. So what we can do with this? So I think we have to be go back or mmap result because we have to be got here at the app search. And then if this username is LD app, it has to be reminded of something. Um, we have to be using here LD app search, I think. Because if the username is giving us here LD app and this password is like that, we need to be new about it. So let's try LD app search. I do it LD app search more. So I using LD app search always, and I love using the LD app search. I have used it how we can use it before. So it doesn't matter how we can use ld app search you just have to be give it so dash help for example it will show you is how we can use it is new about it so let me checking um dash hash for your right to uniform source identifiers um anything new um can we use mm, dash i use ssl interactive modes no need it Um, is there anything new? So, for example, we can check LD app search. I was used before like that, so we can use the same thing as like here. So we just have to be Q here, LD app search. 
as like that right so after that hole we have to be give dash hash so ld app um support dot http and then dash d um has to be given here to be credentials the first things okay this is ld app um ld app and support dot http and then dash we needed to be given here to be um password which one is here then yes okay so after that um i was user dash b and um giving here domain controller in our domain controller first domain controller is support and um second second one is http so great so it worked so the right now i'm sure we got here too many important things i'm really um, sure about it because we got it here at the search um, with the credential but you cannot check it at the searches like that for example you got here some mail yes but is there a password or is there a new one something like that you know about it so you have to be just give it this and let's ldf okay ldf.txt for example um you can use for that so cat ldf.txt will give you same result so right now we can say grab dash i for we need to be definitely check it here so as the first thing you have to be checking account name so you can just give it like that doesn't matter so ldf.txt and it's give you SMI account type so it's give you account type account name or something like that so as it maybe we can uh, will of something different mom the password um is there any new password we got there is no so we can check info which one is the another things Is there any new? Um, I can say it's too so messy. No, no, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, it worked. So we got here iron side, the pleasure, the which pool or something like that. So I'm actually don't know what does it mean. Um, so can we say here the which user have this iron side pleasure? Uh, from info here we got so from info so let's checking fastly which user has this okay controller f and uh, looking for this where is it no oh shit okay <clears throat> Okay, it's like Chapel Hill. So the which user has this support? Oh shit, bro. Um I'm sorry, but I want to be checking my student tags and users. LD app support. Oh, there's some support user. Yes. Submit. Um, can we check it fastly with crack map exec? Um, and continue success with this um, password, maybe. Um, I hope it will be giving us here. new flag I want to be um, thinking about it oh is it support great so um can we use it as also it will dash windows rm so let me just give in here the fastly so for the user we can say support and then dash i um, in it to be just giving here as you know 
what you what you need to be give here. It's support.htp. Oh great, so we got here shell with um, evil windows RAM. So we are on the documents and um, let me check in desktop if there's any um, flag. Then yes, okay, we got, we got here our flag and uh, this is really cool. So I really like it. So this is, um I'm just gonna be show you a little about it. Um, how we got here the credential and how we got here the password, how we got here, here use the here, um, the actually which one is cool. I'm really new about it. So this is really cool things I ever did it before. So I'm just gonna be looking for the users here, the which user, so if you can use it, anything here, like your the pilot, I don't know. So we will check for this. So after that check, I think we can successfully be get here, then get, okay, so we have here LD app. So can we use a here LD app also for LD app credential? Evil does Windows or am just giving here this um the or LDF password and uh, for the password here uh, we can give this as giving as the here the shell from LDF really I don't think so but just let's try um, who cares you know I think LDF no not to be using here. 59.85, I don't think so. I don't think so, the app will contain us. I don't think so. Anyway, who cares? So we got actually here the same thing. Yes, there is no uh, respected for that. So this is really cool. So what we get actually here we use DNS by exe for um the compile or exe file and then get here the password and then uses LD app search and the forgetting here the second password and checking for crap map exec for um to another um to be um to get in the user list and then we get shell here. So I think this is really cool. I really like it. So it's created by all XDF. Wow, <laughs> that's great, man. I really like it. So it was, that was really cool. That was really cool. Yes, absolutely. That was um, insane here. I really like it. So right now is um, to be um, privilege escalation, I think, right? So we need to be doing this and the privilege escalation. So um, the, it it's, could be... um incredible completely believe that uh, I completely believe that it will be incredible I don't want to be doing this right now because um, I think we learn here too many things if checking guided mode it's uh, to privilege escalation it's not look like um to be um too hard as like that so that is really cool um, if you if you rating here is easy I think that was all so we learned it here um LDF search yes by X or some too many things and um the using QSMB Chi Chi. Uh, thank you for watching this video.